I love living spaces. And so I thought maybe I would uh, explore architecture and come to the Pacific Northwest because it seemed like they have, from a, a distant perspective anyway, a more living close to the land perspective than maybe the rest of the country. And I'm very much into that. Creating a village where the village and the buildings are sustainable and actually take care of the inhabitants rather than the inhabitants having to go out and slave to maintain their living is what I think we need as a country. If homes can be made available for five to ten thousand um, dollars, everybody can can really feel stronger about their ability to survive. The thing that blew me away the first time I was homeless, which was in 2008 and 9, is that people were giving up. Everyone around me in the first village I lived in was just pretty, they'd go out and panhandle and get enough money to get whatever they needed for the day. So many veterans have just not gotten their due. My God, I've just seen veteran after veteran. Giving up is such a huge weight. It's just such a rock around someone's foot. A year ago, Halloween, I had open heart surgery. I've been dealing with multiple health issues for 10 years and I usually just don't even tell anyone because it's not something I currently do. I mean, I take medications, but I don't call it my heart disease. Um, things change. Your body changes. Miracles happen every single day. Um, so that's not a thing that daunts me in any kind of way. It was kind of cool to have open heart surgery on Halloween, which is the Day of the Dead, right? So I painted my toenails and fingernails purple to match my incision, and I'm pretty sure I got best global costume that year. And I was <laughs> homeless and unemployed at the time. And thank you to Boulder Community Hospital and all the people there that said, we don't care, we're gonna take care of you. It was just really incredible. So. And then I got off the street, got a job, blah, blah, and was just kind of bored to tears. So I picked up, gave away everything but half a carload, and picked up and came to Eugene, Oregon August 15 last year was when I arrived. And three weeks later I was in the village. I got into OVE very easily because they thought they needed someone with administrative skills at the time, which it turned out they didn't so much, not that I haven't assisted there, but because I had skills and they thought I would transition out quickly and I had also lived in the situation before. So you spend maybe half of your day, most days out of the week, just trying to get around things like getting warm enough to be able to find out where your computer is in your bungalow and then once you find it find where you can plug it in and are your hands warm enough yet and did you get coffee and it so it takes a lot longer in that situation I think having a place with hot water to do dishes is probably one of the most helpful things um, and flushing toilets overall seeing the experience has been my big thing rather than relationships or amenities or whatever my amenity has just been being able to be involved in the experience and coming this close to what I'm choosing to create, what my target is, and see what things work, what things don't, and what I definitely want to have one of those, and, and that sort of thing. So that is where OV has helped me the most, I believe. I had applied it at LCC, or not, I was going to apply and get set for classes, and the admissions counselor there saw that um, my sustainability perspective wouldn't be wouldn't fit in so well with the type of structured architectural program that they have at OU and I would be probably much happier going to PSU Portland State University uh, where I could in the same amount of time get a master's in architecture and a minor in sustainability
Because I'm kind of in a tough situation at the moment. I feel I've never been to Portland, and I feel I need to go there a little bit before school. Um, I do not have a fund set aside for that. In fact, I'm just meeting things day to day, presently as it is. So I'm encouraged about um, the opportunities for income being a little more at a level that I might feel like I was actually being compensated for when I get to Portland. Um, and I do have a Pell Grant to cover school expenses and the Oregon Opportunity Grant to cover uh, or to assist with living expenses, but I can't access that money until September 20 and classes start September 29. So in the next week-ish, I'm gonna take off and see what happens next. I am not afraid, and I know that's very unusual, but I'm not, I have no fear about the big blue adventure that's ahead of me. It's truly an adventure, and what if that feeling we call fear is just excitement?